good morning everybody how are you doing today i know of course all of you took the tabara class with us don't look down <laughs> if you didn't you have an opportunity to join us at 8 30 a.m every saturday before the yoga class we always have some fun some days we do hit class some days we do tabara class some days we do power circuit and i'm sure some days i will come up with something more crazy i don't know do we have someone new for this class who never done yoga workout before, first time ever? And someone who is not doing the yoga workout first time, but first time with us, as with me as a teacher. Welcome. But you've done yoga before, right? We are very positive people. Let's make sure that we turn off the cell phones on silent mode so we be respectful to each other. And I'm gonna take and put my music on. Go ahead, guys, and dive down on your knees. Today we will begin on our knees. And if we haven't met each other before, I'm Juliet, and I've been teaching great fitness classes for 25 years right now. So I will take a good care of you. Take a deep breath in. In deep quality exhalation. There is no need to worry about anything. You came here to stretch, to restore, to work out, of course. I'm not gonna let you go without feeling strong afterwards. And let's slowly press our palms into the floor. And come on up, guys. Do that gentle first cat and cow expression. Take it all the way up in the next halation. Simply send your hips back down go ahead and do it a couple more times with me you can go faster or slower the way feels right for your body go ahead and do it one more time and stop right here with me go up and down for a few movements just express through the heart and then slowly round the spine and relax the neck Express through the chest, guys. And round the spine and relax the neck. Let's do it one more time. And this time, we will simply hold it, guys. We will simply hold it. Full expression. Make sure you're not holding your breath, of course. And then slowly start to look behind. Behind your tailbone towards the heels. Like you want to see what's going on behind. All the way. Try to keep your hips stable though. Keep your hips stable. Just kind of through the lateral bend. Mm -hmm. And let's do one or two more, depending on how fast or slow you're moving. And then stop right in the center. Take your hands a little bit farther and send your chest down to the puppy pose. Let's stretch the upper body. Take a deep breath in, scoop the stomach in, close your eyes for another few breaths and set an intention for this practice, not to judge, not to compare, radiate positive energy so we all can enjoy this time together. And let's slowly rise up, come on up on the fingertips, you still having your hands off the base and shift the hips even farther back. Send the elbows down towards the floor. Express through the chest. Just feeling good, that's all it is. Just feeling good, enjoying being in your body. Maybe visualize what the body, what type of the body, how physically you're gonna feel when you are in your best shape. Even though it's not there yet, maybe. Come on up, guys. Go ahead and rise up your right arm and all the way. Take that underneath. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then slowly come on back. And we go all the way from the other side. Take the other arm all the way, express fully. And then take it all the way underneath. 
take your time guys and again you don't really have to bring that arm all the way up towards the ceiling you can keep your both hands on the ground let's slowly return back up and all you have to do is to tuck your toes and to find yourself in your first downward facing dog go ahead and take your right hand towards the left ankle if you can of course now it doesn't have to be your ankle it can be your calf it can be the thigh you can also get into your knees and simply reach down across the opposite knee go ahead and take and switch your hands all the way through guys just simply switch take a deep breath in deep breath out and then slowly walk towards your plank now for some of my students planks are going to be really really challenging guys so you don't have to go to the plank put your knees on the floor and stay with your knees on the ground if you stay in with me on your plank we will continue with the abs work all the way knee to the elbow just a few times it doesn't have to be on a count it doesn't have to be quick just what your body can handle and last one go ahead and send your heels on the left side and open up to the side plank you can always put your knee on the floor anytime you have to take a deep breath in and now express bring the hips a little bit higher up mm -hmm. excellent and go ahead and switch the direction all you have to do is to take the heels right and take the arm all the way up and above express a little bit farther bring those hips up go ahead and take your both hands on the floor chaturanga dandasana knees on the floor if you have to guys this is it put your belly down go ahead and reach those arms all the way up shoulders up back and down and just simply guys roll a few times just roll your shoulders a few times it doesn't have to be a big rolls just whichever you can do and then go ahead and rise up maybe you have to be on your elbows for some of you not for everyone go ahead and look above one shoulder try to let go of the tension in the hips it goes like this let the pelvic floor melt into your mat you're gonna feel such a release such a release on your lower back mm -hmm. come on back down towards the floor now take your arms on the sides and go ahead and lift your one leg any right or left and just roll on the side for a few times top the floor your gentle scorpion tops just like this again it doesn't have to be that your feet reach the ground at all if it doesn't it doesn't just do what you can however if your back is very flexible try to touch your hand even try to touch your hand just all the way towards the side this is it let's do one more and come back to the center back on your belly while we are here go ahead and put your both hands on the floor shalabhasana or lakus plant your hands guys really nicely really firmly leave the chest your legs are totally optional you don't have to lift your legs off the ground if your back is not ready take a deep breath in don't forget to smile everything is better with smile life is too short to be sad let's change our state saturday is coming then sunday a good healthy time with families with friends go ahead and take the hands all the way on the floor and reach up with me guys prepare for 
transition to the downward facing dog. All right, from now on, we're gonna go for lunges, fire horses, lunges and dolphins, and a lot of fun stuff today. Take your one leg up, guys, and open up, bend your knee a little bit deeper, a little bit more. Look underneath the right, Relax your facial expression. Tangent just creates more tangent. Tangent in one body part will make your entire body tense eventually. So let go. Even tangent in the eyes can make it harder. Step forward, guys. Step forward. You guys, so strong. Step forward. All right. Front knee, front ankle one on top another i will repeat myself again this is not a lunge guys you have to really send that knee back let's reach arms all the way up inhalation and start with the right top exhalation just up towards the ceiling and all the way to the other side just nice and gentle Start to use your blocks if you have your blocks all the way. Good job on using those blocks, guys. I see some of you have them. Don't be afraid to bring your tools. And last one, go ahead and dive into your little lizard pose. Again, it doesn't have to be a super low one. Just follow your breath, follow your body. If your head eventually goes on the floor, that's great. If not, that's also great. Hmm. Come on up, guys, from your Lizard pose. How are you feeling? Warming up a little bit? We go ahead and tuck the toes. Well, some of us already definitely warmed up after that Tabata workout. Lift that knee, guys, at the back and come on up for the runner lunge. Now, low runner lunge is not for everyone. Maybe you can, you need to come up a little bit, oops, a little bit higher. But if you can stay low, and go ahead and stay low with me. You got this. Strong leg steam. Back heel elevated, back heel elevated. I know how you feel. Shoulders down, chest up and open. Big smile. And all the way, exhalation, warrior two, transition. You got this. Strong mind, strong body. One can't exist without another and vice versa. Come on back, guys. Now, warrior one. Breeze, you got this. All the way, plant your both hands on the floor. Step back to your Chaturanga Dandasana, transition of your choice. Up dog, everyone. Enjoy, and downward facing dog. This is it, this is it. Go ahead and take your left leg up. Look underneath the left and bend your left knee, guys. Give it a good quality stretches. Look underneath the left. Hold it for a few extra seconds. Do not hurry up to step forward. Once you're ready, step forward to your left. Maybe that's a couple steps, guys, before you reach the front knee and the front ankle. If you need to push that leg, push that leg. Make sure it's a wide stance. And reach all the way up. And go ahead and dive. Just dive down. Try to open up chest towards the ceiling. And all the way to the other side. Mm -hmm. And all the way again. You guys, so good, so flexible, so strong. I always like to think about our Saturday class like this is more restorative yoga after Tabata power circle Oh, it's a far circuit or a hit class, but it comes down that you guys are so strong these days. Nothing can get you anymore. <laughs> Go ahead and put your forehead on the floor. 
on the blocks stay on your hands if you have to again this is all different for all of us take your time and if your head your forehead on the floor that's good that's good we're gonna go for quality low runner lunges guys runner lunges you can do the low you can stay with your knee on the floor as well or you can come up a little bit higher with me right here solid on the both legs guys solid solid on the both legs i know inhalation extend those arms exhalation that big, beautiful, genuine smile to yourself, how strong you are, warrior two. It's always feel better when you're smiling, take the shoulders up and down, look forward with a clear gaze, the strength within, three times all the way. Go ahead and step to your chaturanga of your choice, guys. Mm -hmm. Strong transitions, not for everyone. Not for everyone. Choose to opt out. Stay in your downward facing dog with me, guys, to rest. Or you can go to your child pose right now. You can go to your child pose right now and rest there for another five to six breaths. For my new students, we normally rest in the downward facing dog. Everybody's so strong these days, but feel free to go to the child pose. Just don't fall in sleep. Cause you know, I'm gonna wake you up. All right, go ahead guys and hover. Now hover might be not for everyone today. If you can't handle, if your wrist can't handle, you may need to push the fist. If that doesn't work, put the knees on the floor. Inhalation, exhalation, everyone. So proud of you. Go ahead and take your right leg up, guys. Press it up, press your left heel into the floor. Prepare to drive your right through the left side. Wild thing. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. Open it up. Prepare for the Chaturanga Dandasana of your choice, team. Of your choice. We're gonna get over with a strong part of our practice from the beginning. And then at the end of the class, I'm gonna give you a little break. Prepare to hover. Brace, guys, brace, brace, brace. You're strong. Go hot in. Raise your left and reach up. Single-legged dog, guys. And we're ready for the all the way wild sink preparation. All the way reach up. Looking great. Chaturanga Dandasana, everyone. Mm-hmm. Downward facing dog. Now, the most important part of the downward facing dog is there's actually a few, okay? We're going to press the hands into the floor. Make sure your hands are flat. You push against the ground. Shift the body weight back. Scoop the stomach in. Shoulder blades apart. Relax your neck and head. Make sure your neck is limp and loose. Limp and loose. Look forward, guys. Bend your knees, step, walk, or hop like a front or center of your mat. Make sure that you easily can look forward. If not, put the hands on the knees, on top on the sides, forward fold, all the way, guys. Forward fold, all the way. Look halfway through. Utkata asana or chair pose. Utkata asana or chair pose. Now, you don't have to sit as low and you don't have to hold your arms 
all the way up. Try to make sure those arms are long and straight. Big sweep. Hips forward to your stop. Come on up to the standing position. Hands up front of the chest. Close your eyes, guys. Before we do the balance today, let's just catch up on being present. And your balance is gonna flow so, so, so good. Look inside. Try to feel your feet on the floor. Both feet right and left. Look inside and find your breath. Feel that inhalation. The breath is floating through your nose, through your lungs, down towards your belly. Then you expand your belly and then gently contract the belly, let the air go. Everything you need, you already have. Everything you need, you already have. Go ahead and take your right knee. Up guys, open your eyes. And just see how your balance doing. Just standing like that. Mm -hmm. Once you feel stable, we go ahead for the tree pose. We do a couple progressions with the tree poses today, and you can choose to have those progressions with me to follow along or just stay in the tree pose. The first progression is going to be your angels behind. So you're going to take the back part of your palm and just press that into your back. Just standing in one leg, it's already challenging. So I want you to acknowledge it and be proud of yourself. I don't know the statistics, but I would be almost sure that 95% of population can stand as long on one leg as you do. Keep on breathing, guys. It takes practice. Go ahead and take those arms up. Now, my intermediate and advanced guys, go ahead for the half lotus. Everyone else, guys, stay in your tree pose. Mm -hmm. You guys so cool. If you are in your half lotus, go ahead and continue to the squat. Those who are standing in a tree, you can practice a regular squat or single-legged chair pose squat. Just one or other. Mm -hmm. One or other. Mm -hmm. Very nice. We're gonna grab a big toe or entire foot, depend what you can reach. And you can hold your knee bent just like this. Just like this. When you're ready, you're ready. If you're not ready, we're gonna get you ready soon. Breathe, guys. Don't worry about falling down. You can always start over again. Go ahead and take your leg all the way behind. We will finalize this flow with the warrior three. You can also tap the leg on the floor. And now we're gonna go for the quick Arhachandrasana, if you will join me. Hmm. When you're ready, send your left hand on the corner of your mat. Again, we're not looking for perfection, we're just practicing, guys. Just practicing. We might have a little bit different reasons why we are here, but the core values for this practice are the same for everyone. Health, wellness, vitality, flexibility, feeling good, feeling wholesome, feeling strong, Feeling grounded, and all we have to do for this, come on down, guys. Step back, Chaturanga, is to practice, to show up. I will help you to get stronger, but I can't do it if you are not here. 
come on up. That's your responsibility to make sure you show up for your house. Come on down. Relax and restore. Go ahead and dive into the child pose if you have to. Intermediate and advanced, we're gonna stay for the few, few breaths, few seconds in the downward facing dog. Just do what you can, guys. Do what you can. Go ahead and look forward. If you are in your child, come back now. And slowly step walk or hop to the center of your mat or to the front. Utkatasana or chair pose. All the way, big sweep to the right. Big sweep to the left. Nice and strong on those legs. Come on up, guys, to reach. We practice in a little back bend before our balance. Take your hands into your lower back if you have to and support. You don't have to overdo it. Come on up quickly. Close your eyes. Put them right up front. Put your boots feet together, maybe, if it feels. Round it. This time we're gonna do a little test. Keep your eyes closed, don't peek. And try to rock forward a little bit towards your toes and rock slightly back. Then rock slightly forward. Even though it's a tiny movement, it probably feels like you're going a couple feet to the front, couple feet to the back. I promise you it's a very tiny movement. Then rock to the right and rock to the left, just kind of transferring the body weight from one foot to another. See how much awareness you have? Go ahead and bring your left leg up. And we're ready for the tree. We're ready when we're ready. your time. Go ahead and open up the arms if, if it's going there. Great job. And we're gonna go for the little angel wings. Just press the back sides of your hands into the back in between the shoulder blades or any other place your hands might go. Mm -hmm. For my intermediate and advanced, go ahead for half lotus. Mm -hmm. Just a little reminder, this is your external hip rotation, not a breaking of the ankle or the knee. Go ahead and squat if you can. Nice job, guys. And we're gonna go for the warrior, or for the big toe first. Almost forgot. One step at a time. One step at a time. This is very nice, guys. Very good. Keep on trying. We call this class practice, yoga practice. You came here to practice. One time is not enough. Go ahead for your warrior three or the one with aeroplane arms, if you have to. Like everywhere else, repetition is the mother of skill. Conditioning, conditioning, and conditioning, guys. 
We have to condition our bodies and we have to condition our mind. Go ahead and send your right hand on the floor. We're on the block. Floor or block, floor or block. worry about anything all right we're gonna go for chaturanga we gotta do this side exactly the same what we did another one come on down go ahead and rest in your child pose finally just simply Bring awareness, attention, and intention inside. That's all you have to do. We're going to do a little bit more practice in a tabletop. And then I will take you to the seated position. And from there, I will take you on your back to finalize the practice. Let's go ahead and come up to the tabletop. Take your right arm, guys in your left leg her right arm and your left leg scoop the stomach in you might find it's challenging your options to tap your hand or your foot on the floor go ahead and bind just a little bit more awareness Doesn't have to be perfect at all. And what we're gonna do, we're going to take our left elbow on the floor, guys. Left elbow on the floor. Mm -hmm. Hold and support yourself or bind again. Or bind again. Go ahead and take it back down around the spine. Relax your neck, make your body feel good. Don't worry about anything. Take your left arm and your right leg all the way through. Keep lengthening like you're trying to reach both sides of this room. Like you're trying to reach all the way through. Go ahead and bind. If you can reach, you got this, guys, you got this, you got this. And all you have to do is to put your right elbow on the floor now. Support yourself, and this is it. We're going hot and bind. Relax your toes on the left foot. Don't stress, please. Just very destructive for the body, for the physical body. Definitely. All right. Let it go. Remember, I promised you dolphins. I wasn't kidding. Come on up. In this group, we haven't practiced dolphins for a long time. Mm -hmm. Relax your head and neck, guys. In intermediate and advanced, go ahead and raise your right leg. Mm -hmm. You got this. And raise your left leg. Building the strings and balance, weight distribution, legs and arms. Go ahead and bring your knees on the floor and sit down in your virasana, guys. Virasana might not be for everyone. You need to sit on your blocks. If you don't have your blocks, your option is fist. Do not sit on your feet, because let me show you something. If you sit here, it's not going to improve your hero pose. It's just not. No matter how long you're gonna sit there, it's not gonna make a difference, okay? Two blocks, one block, three blocks in a home practice Use a pillow, listen to music, watch TV, whatever you're doing, do it in your virasana. 
That's how I learned mine because my hips are naturally not flexible. Some people much more flexible than I am, but I conditioned myself with a flexibility, if you want to call it drills. Drills and exercises. All it means is repetition of the same asana. We're gonna sit here for a few extra breaths for my beginners. And when you're ready, guys, it's for beginners. When you're ready, go ahead and extend your legs and maybe move to your seated forward fold. For my advanced group, go ahead, guys, and lay down. I would say that to be annoying one more time, <laughs> do not go down if you're not sitting in a full virasana. Do not lay down. You can go on your forearms. That might be a solution. But just take a good care of your body. We're gonna give this asana another two, three breaths. This is it. And then start slowly to rise up. My intermediate and advance, try to make a simultaneous transition to your boat. Mm -hmm. Take your time, take your time. You got this, guys. For the boat, you saw me holding my legs, and that's one of the options. Another option, you can put your hands on the floor. Another option, you can tap your two toes you can do the one which is harder than two so you can alternate in between in between all of those options until your abs gonna get stronger what i don't want you to do is to arch your back kind of something like that in order to hold it because that's not what we're doing scoop the stomach in scoop your stomach in keep the feet on the floor if you have to and then take them off again lift them up you need to breathe guys you need to breathe, otherwise you're not going to be able to do it. Breathe it. Exhalation. Breathe it up. Bring your ankles closer. You got this, guys. Today we're going to practice upright seated stretch, western seated stretch. Please, I invite you to practice it with a one leg at the time. With a one leg at the time for the beginners. In order to practice this, you really have to activate your core. That's pretty much all it is. It's kind of like your seated forward fold, the same thing. But you add in, of course, balance to that. All right. Let's go ahead and put your boss fit on the floor. I know, guys, you love your reverse tabletops. We don't practice them much in this group. We practice it a lot in the Lake Mary classes. Go ahead and bring the hips up all the way. Continue to breathe and hold. Hips up. Breathe and hold. Intermediate and advanced, go ahead and put the ankle and draw the knee up, a knee down, hips up. Knee down, hips up. Nice work, guys, and the other leg. Knee down, hips up, guys. Knee down and hips up. Mm -hmm. Come on down. Go ahead and put your both legs on the ground. Pick up the glutes and pull them out. Pull them out completely, so you kind of feel like you're sitting on the seat bones. That's gonna give you much more range of motion in the hip flexor. You're gonna be able right away to go a little bit deeper than you normally do. All the way, guys. Now, your goal is not to lay down on your legs. Your goal is to keep the back soft and strong. Soft, long, and strong. I know we have a few new students, 
So just imagine that your upper body is a hard cover of the book. Your lower body is a hard cover of the book. The hip flexor, where you bend in from, that, that soft part of the connection, that's how you open and close your book. Keep on breathing, guys. And let's slowly to draw the right leg up, just follow along so you don't forget which one you did. We're going to do a few variations of the sage pose. That foot doesn't have to be so close, it can be much farther. So right knee up, right elbow inside. Try to level your shoulders. Most of you can see yourself in the mirror. So just try to level the shoulders. Close your eyes. After you got the checkpoints, if you did, Go ahead then, rotate to the other side. All you have to do to lay entire arm or just partially, a little bit depend on your back flexibility. Close your eyes if you wish, you don't have to, but it's definitely easier to connect with yourself. Mm -hmm. We continue to progress. Go ahead and reach towards the front foot. It might not be possible for some of us. You can reach up here. You can use your strap. Mm -hmm. Go ahead then step across this right, step across. Check a little bit how your position is. Maybe you need to readjust your sitting position again. So you're sitting on the both sit bones. You're not rocking on one side, in this case on the left. Otherwise, your spine is gonna be a little bit crooked, not straight and soft. Breathe, guys. All you have to do here is to breathe. And maybe with each and every exhalation to progress a little bit farther into the rotation, only if it feels good. Or just stay where you are. We're gonna add a little bit more here. Grab your foot, your right foot, with your left. See if you can extend it first, if you can. Try not to drop it down so it doesn't look like this. Keep it up and tall and pull it behind. Towards the left, your upper body and torso. Towards the right. Mm -hmm. Very sensitive. Lengthen in the spine, guys. Lengthen in the spine. A little bit more. And we finalize this side with a little bow and arrow today. So knee and ankle, one level. Try to avoid to do this. Many times it just happens automatically. If you're really flexible, you're gonna go for the bind. Take a look, guys. This is the baby cradle. This is what, what we're trying to do. You try to send your knee towards your oven back. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. If you're super flexible, front row, go ahead and show off. Do your thing. Okay. Looking really good, guys. A lot of progress. 
Very nice, very nice. All right, seated forward fold, guys. Seated forward fold. Level yourself first a little bit. Just remember, this is your practice. And if something doesn't flow as you expect it, you are not in trouble, okay? This is just the practice. We came here for getting stronger, more flexible, healthier, change our bodies, bring more awareness maybe. We will have different but similar goals. Go ahead and pull your left leg maybe not to the base exactly just whichever you can do sit for a few seconds make sure you're comfortable and then just go ahead and take the left inside the left give yourself a good rotation a good leverage when you feel it when you feel it nicely the tangent go and take yourself to the other direction come on back to the front and reach forward Use your straps. Don't fall in sleep. Come back and take this left across. We're gonna go and take it again. All the way outside close your eyes keep them open which whichever feels good to your body let your body to melt into the form give it a couple breaths and let's go up in return to the center right arm left ankle if you follow in me give it first lengthening and stretching of the leg and then start to pull it a little bit across mm -hmm. and torso other hand other hand opposite to your leg opposite to your leg if your left leg then your right hand uh -huh. And then you can pull it across. This is it. All right. Go ahead and send your knee behind your oven back. Might not be really far away. For some of us, it could be just barely here. Straps might be used here. here guys or reach mm -hmm. very nice slowly let it go and go ahead and put your both feet together Baddha Konasana, but take your um, feet a little bit farther off the base so you kind of have a, a little diamond in between. Fold forward. I know it feels, it looks easy when someone, you look at someone and their forehead goes straight to the feet. And if you don't feel like that, don't worry about it. 
again. Repetition will make it happen. If you're really comfortable in this position, go ahead and sneak your hands from outside in. Like this, from outside in. Once you're ready, begin your way on your back, guys. We're gonna do a halasana or plow pose. And aren't you glad we already get over with the boat? We don't have to do that one. All the way. Give me courtesy of the cell phones, guys. And to everyone here, who came enjoy the yoga practice without electronics. If you're not practicing your halasana, then you can keep your legs up towards the ceiling. Or if you do practice halasana, just pay attention that, that your neck is free of tension. There is no tension on your neck. The body weight stays in between the shoulders and shoulder blades. Go ahead and slowly release your feet, put your feet next the base of your body next to the glutes. Take your arms on a side and bring your hips to that gentle bridge just to decompress the back after halasana. Hmm. Go ahead and put your right knee right above the left to the eagle pose. Maybe not the full eagle pose, but the partial one. So if your right knee, right above the left, bring your knees to the right. Just a gentle first, knees to the right. Mm -hmm. 